So the M2 Pro Mac Mini is the best computer I've ever owned. And I don't mean that in terms of just specs, because if that was the case, then no, I've owned better computers as far as specs go. But I mean as far as like an overall package goes. A computer that has the right amount of specs that gives me enough power that I need for music production and content creation in general and coming in at a much more affordable price. So when you bring all of those factors together, then yes, the M2 Pro Mac Mini is absolutely the best computer I've ever owned, especially when it comes to music production and overall content creation. And in the last six months of me owning this computer, here's what I've noticed. See, six months ago, I hesitated to sell my M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch laptop. That laptop had a terabyte of solid state storage and 32 gigabytes of memory. But I found that I wasn't getting, at least in my opinion, $2,200 worth of stuff from that laptop, worth of work, if you will, from that laptop every single day. Like I wasn't utilizing it to its full potential. I didn't feel like I was really squeezing 32 gigabytes of memory out of that thing. I didn't feel like I was utilizing the power and the efficiency of the M1 Max chip in the M1 Max MacBook Pro. So when the M2 Pro Mac Mini got announced at the price point of $1,300, I was very, very intrigued. A computer that, yes, is half the storage at 512 gigabytes, and yes, half the memory capacity at 16 gigabytes versus 32 gigabytes, would this be something that I could utilize and actually use for my daily work as a music producer, video editor, and content creator? I knew that if I was gonna make the jump from the M1 Max MacBook Pro to the M2 Pro Mac Mini as my main computer, then I would have to get creative. So in that transition, I simplified my setup. I went from two monitors to one monitor with the Thunderbolt display. The 2011 Thunderbolt display gives me the additional ports on the back that I need to hook up my peripherals, and then every other port is wide open for me to use. And I use those ports for external memory. Since the version of the M2 Pro Mac Mini that I got, the $1,300 base model is 512 gigabytes, well, I need more storage for plugins in the sort. So I have a Samsung two terabyte solid state drive along with a 12 terabyte 5400 RPM hard drive that is basically backing up every single project that I've ever done in the last 10 to 12 years. So the way that I approached it was that every single plugin and program was stored on the internal storage on the 512 gigabytes of storage in the Mac mini. Everything else from the project files to the photos in my photo collection are saved on the external drives and backed up to the 12 terabyte drive. So the 512 gigabytes of internal storage has definitely been enough. Now we talk about performance, and in the last six months, I've recorded a multitude of projects using the M2 Pro Mac Mini. And I'm using plugins like Goldfoss and Ozone, and I'm using stuff like Contact as well, SSD drums, and a whole bunch of sample libraries that I've collected over the years. I use all of these with zero issues. I'm running Logic at IO buffer size 128 samples. So that's just enough for me to play back and record everything in Logic Pro. And while I record, I turn on low latency monitoring. And yes, while that does take away some of the features and functionalities of my plugins while I'm recording, the second I'm done recording and I turn it off, everything comes right back. So I'm very willing to work under those circumstances. Now, does it take a few seconds to load the plugins? Sure, but once they're loaded, I'm talking zero issues. Not a, not a single dropped session due to buffering size, not a single hiccup. I play the tracks from beginning to end with zero issues, and I'm talking about tracks that are beefy in size, beefy in plugins, beefy in mastering and EQ and software instruments and all that like, right? So I am getting the full usage of Logic Pro. I don't have to cut corners on really anything in my production when it comes to making my tracks. The M2 Pro Mac Mini handles them beautifully. And sure, some can look at the specs of the M2 Pro Mac Mini and think, hey, that's not enough, man. I need something like a Mac Studio. I need something like a Mac Pro. And absolutely, I'm not here to tell you that you shouldn't get those computers if that's what you wanna get by all means. I'm just making this video to let you know that if you're interested in the M2 Pro Mac Mini, and if you're interested in creating content at a budget of $1,300, then yeah, I'm thrilled that I'm able to do not only audio production, but video editing with Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro with zero issues. I'll walk you through my setup real quick just to kind of give you an understanding of what my setup is. So I'm going from the Apollo Twin from Universal Audio via Thunderbolt to the Thunderbolt display. The Thunderbolt display is connected to the Mac Mini via the Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 converter that you can buy at Apple for $50. It's super expensive, but hey, it works. Aside from that, I've got the Samsung 2 terabyte SSD drive hooked up directly to the Mini, and I've got the 12 terabyte drive hooked up directly to the Mini as well. From there, I've got the Korg Kronos 
and the cord cross connected to the back of the Thunderbolt display via USB 2.0 and then hooked up to the Apollo Twin. I have two KRK speakers that I've had for quite some time. Well, I'm talking like 2007, 2008 that have still lasted me and they're still freaking fantastic. As far as headphones go, I've got these really super beat up Audio-Technicas, but they are absolutely fantastic. Love the crap out of them. That's connected to the Universal Audio. I mix and master everything with those headphones and the KRKs. And that's my setup. I mean, the Pro M2 Pro Mac Mini is amazing. Oh, and by the way, if you are a gamer, and I know this video isn't really aimed towards gaming, but if you are a gamer, then yeah, you can use programs like OpenEMU and Dolphin and stuff to do your emulators in the M2 Pro Mac Mini and it works beautifully. Like, I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan, so I'm playing all the old school Mortal Kombat games from Super Nintendo back in the day to PlayStation 1, 2, and even 3 on this machine. Really, really well. The PS3 ones, it kind of struggles with a little bit, but the PS1 and 2 games are really good. Also, the benefit of having an M2 Pro Mac Mini or having any computer with the M1 or M2 chips is that you can use universal control, you can use sidecar, you can use all those things. So even though I have just the one 27 inch Thunderbolt display, which to be honest with you is more than enough for me, I can put an iPad next to it or a MacBook that I use for work right next to it and be able to use the same mouse and keyboard for my main computer, for my M2 Mac mini computer and move it over to the laptop or the iPad that's next to my computer pretty flawlessly and have them work together in sync. So have I been impressed with the M2 Pro Mac Mini in the last six months that I've owned it? Absolutely. It is without question my favorite desktop that I've ever owned by the company and I've had several iMacs in the past and it is something that I am really looking forward to seeing what the next generation of Mac Minis can be. It's an exciting time when computers can come in at this price point and do the things that they can do without having to feel like you have to pay for the most top tier expensive thing. You can kind of come a couple steps down as far as price and performance go, but still get the results that you want. That to me is really, really exciting. If you have any questions about the M2 Pro Mac Mini as far as music production or video editing or content creation in general goes, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get to it. Also in the description box, there's a couple more videos about the Mac Mini and the top two plugins that I use in my Logic Pro setup every single day. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.